Hello, sinners. How are you? My name is Sam. What's up? Nice. Do you have any wise words for the letter board of truth? Um, stay hydrated. That's good advice. That's great advice. It's, it's good advice. And odds are, if you're watching, you're probably not drinking enough water. Put down the cold brew, pick up a nice glass of water. So for the people at home, do you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Oh yeah, of course. So hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sam. I'm a YouTuber, uh, I think, and I do commentary videos and I talk about like transphobic people, make fun of them a little bit. Oh yeah, alpha males are pretty funny too. I'm the most alpha male of them all, so yeah. I gotta make fun of them naturally. <laughs> You so, know the vibes. Um, <laughs> you you know this. So, Sam, would you agree that society today has gotten too woke? Oh my god, so woke. They're putting it in our schools. We have to protect the schools from the LGBTQ, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Just them. They're putting it in your water, too. That's why it was foggy. Exactly. That's the woke propaganda. It's, it's lime. Don't tell them what's in my water. I think we would agree that it's time to go back to traditional values. Because you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thankfully, we have the freedom fighting champions. What else is there to say? These are true patriots of the United States. Because today we'll be talking about the public advocate of the United States. These are the patriots that we want here today. So... Wait, will you give me one second? No. Yes, you will. This is the website of the public advocate of the United States. Now, I assume there's more than one person in this organization, so I don't know why they didn't pluralize the advocate part. <laughs> is pluralize a word? Yes. No, this is just one. This is just one advocate. Just one person doing so much work. So they were founded in 1981. So they've, they've been around the block quite a bit. Wow, never heard of them. Well, you do now. I do now. Just the one public advocate. One single man who's been doing this for 40 years. <laughs> who's been cranking it out in the office that hasn't been updated since the 90s. Windows 95. So in recent years, our efforts have focused on supporting a federal traditional marriage, man and woman, amendment Obviously. to the constitution, of, of course, to defend traditional oh no, marriage from assaults from those who claim to promote same-sex marriage. Like me. The gays are assaulting people. Yeah, what's up with that? Not only do I plan on being same-sex married eventually, I also do promote it. Like, I do give it ad slots on my YouTube channel. That's a big issue that we have to, you know, that this guy is definitely like trying to fight against. So that makes our society so much worse when there's just two people who love each other. Yeah. Nothing, nothing worse than that. School prayer and the freedom of religious expression in public places. If it's a public school, like they legally can't have like religious ceremonies. Okay, yeah. I was just thinking about like, if you're j like, you're going out and you're picking up food, what do you mean religious expression? I mean, you can, you can wear a cross. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That that still exists. Yeah, pro-life legislation. So this man is hoping that the Supreme Court rescinds Roe v. Wade. That's really nice to know. That's good. Who, who cares what people do? Jeez, dude. The promotion and protection of the Boy Scouts in the courts and in Congress and in legal actions in the federal executive branch to keep it moral. The Boy Scouts subsequently voted to allow homosexual scouts. Gay Boy Scouts are allowed to be in the troops. And he doesn't like that. But like, aren't the Boy Scouts, isn't it like hiking and camping? And like, who cares if one of the members are gay? You can be gay and go on a hike. <laughs> I, he probably tells gay people to go on a hike and then they do and they try to and they can't because he doesn't want them to. It's like, no, the dude, he's trying to outlaw queer hikes. And I simply cannot stand for that. <laughs> Tax cuts, reduction in spending by the federal government, and the exposure of wasteful pork barrel spending for the benefit of liberal special interests or for social engineering for worse. Is he talking like like social security or like those kind of programs? I just don't know what that sentence means. I think that, <laughs> I think my brain is a little too small for what this guy is trying to say. But I also don't think that he has any... Like, this is not a coherent English sentence. Yeah, it just seems like he's throwing in a bunch of buzzwords. And now we have publicadvocateusa.org. Oh, it was a pork barrel. I don't even know what that name... I don't even know if that's what it was called. Publicadvocateusa.org. Just one. Um, 
Just one. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Equality under the law, without regard to color, race, creed, sex, or religious beliefs. Creed. What's creed? That's like religion. This is just the teach Sam today. This is <laughs> teach Sam day. I was good. I was the best essay writer in college. Were you? I don't know what legislation means. Yes, but I can write a thesis. Fuck yeah. I'm good. We have the number one essay writer here. That's crazy. I am. Exactly. Exactly. Talking to the genius here, and Albert Einstein number two. What I really want to show you also before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video is I want to give you a quick peek at his store. Now you have a merch line, right? I do. It's beautiful. SamCollinsShop.com. I do have some merch up there, probably coming out with a couple of new things, but yeah. Join my uh, little comedy club. Thank you. You know, since you said that you might be coming out with some new designs very soon, maybe you can take some inspiration from our public advocate here. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> so, uh, thoughts? Oh my god, these pictures are so beautiful. <laughs> the Let's Go Brandon shirt is just like, just a beautiful picture. Um, what's the hat with the drum? What's going on there? Make the family great again hat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I got news for you. Does the drum come with it or is that like a separate charge? That's what I'm saying. Why did they put a f***ing drum? The beat we drum. The f*** do we What does that even mean? <laughs> I wonder how long it would take for these items to ship. I just really think that it would take a very long time. He's probably up until 3 a.m. packaging all these hats himself. Yeah, all of his one hats for the one public advocate that <laughs> is subscribed to the channel. <laughs> what really stuck out to me about this website the listing that stood out to me was this um <laughs> oh my God. promotion like what is this all right first of all take a f***ing normal picture of the flag and you're th okay they want to reclaim the rainbow when did you ever have the rainbow you never had the rainbow <laughs> it's mine. It's Sam's now. It's mine. So think about it. Every corporate pride merch you get at different parades, that... Thanks to Sam. Exactly. I'm the one who should be f***ing reclaiming it. It is time to reclaim what the left has sodomized. The oh. rainbow. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. A Christian symbol? Is the rainbow actually a Christian symbol? It has many different meanings, but like, there are is religious meaning in Christianity for the rainbow, but it's also present in other religions. I didn't know that. I thought it was just for like gay people. Also, like, is this not the most Facebook marketplace kind of advertisement? Oh, see, can I see the other pictures real quick? Like, mm. oh, they didn't even fucking iron it. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> come on, put in a little effort and then, oh. This is done. Let's end the video. He looks like a really bad version of Willy Wonka. He just took away the beard. Did they hold up a party city right before they sh took this photo? Well, it's funny that we looked at the rainbow flag because this is going to be a staple in the videos we're about to watch. Now, unfortunately, this one public advocate does have a YouTube channel. For the Wokey Pokey song? I'm so psyched. I can see it on my face. If you had a guess, what do you think the Wokey Pokey song is about 30 seconds the wokey pokey song is probably going to be about transgender people and joe biden that's what i'm going to assume okay good guess i guess let's see let's find out you put the first jab in you put the second now you put the first jab in and share it all around you do the wokey pokey and you spread the lies around now we're And they have okay. merch with the song. How cool is that? I was not expecting it to be <laughs> that bad. I'm going to cry. That's it? That's it? That's it? <laughs> what? That's the song. Mm -hmm. I was sure. I didn't watch that clip. <laughs> I, what was your favorite part? I know there's so much to choose from. I blacked out. I don't even know. I don't even know what he said. Go back to the lyrics. Yeah, let's pull up the lyrics. They weren't even in sync. No, <laughs> but you know what? Do you really need, you know, synchronicity in music? Guess not. Everything in life is a social construct. If you don't want to have rhythm or a beat or talent even, normalize being absolute dog shit 
at what you do. Okay, well, you put the first jab in and then the second now and you share it all around. And then so then you die after you get the vaccine. Well, I'm still alive and I did that. So not really. I don't think they're very correct with that. Yeah, I'm triple vaxxed and I'm here to tell the tale. You are, tri- you are triple vaxxed. Yeah. That is great. Yeah, I got three jabs, you know, for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And hey, I'm fine. So the next video that we have is called Fighting the Pronoun Police. I feel like this is definitely something in your wheelhouse because you talk a lot about transphobes on your channel. So I'm very excited to hear what you have to say. I'm so psyched about this. Okay. Join me, join me in the fight against gender corruption theory. That's what we're fighting, gender corruption theory. You know, in this country, you have people attacking Christians and normal people. Sorry, I just, the the amount of time that he just held the sign up and just said nothing and they didn't even cut that clip, it really just got to me, I thought it was funny. The heavy breathing. <laughs> he's like, Fuck. yeah, I wish that I could have, it. he's like, <sighs> Join me. <laughs> but that's what I like about him. He's so raw and real. Is this the public advocate? I think so. Since 1981. Mm-hmm. All right, brother. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go to a disco. <laughs> <laughs> Our brother in Christ. <laughs> a brother in Christ disco. A Christian disco, if you must. See, if Christians rebranded to like a disco sort of thing, maybe I would be on board. With a little bit of rollerblading? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be fun. Be fun. I would like that. Do you know how to rollerblade? I I am so good. Really? So good. Yeah, I whip around in circles. Really? Yeah, you better. <laughs> you gotta see me. Wow, you created the rainbow, and you're like the number one roller skater in the world. And the second Albert Einstein. Yeah, I, there's a lot on my roster. Your resume is stacked. Also, gotta love the pronoun um, printout he has here. Oh man. I didn't even notice that. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get you to refer to their proper pronoun. Him, her, sir. Sir. Now, come on. We know what's going on, don't we? They're just trying to control your thoughts. And here at Public Advocate, we fight for your rights. We've defended Christian Baker, Jack Phillips. <laughs> He's in- fighting that autofocus right now. <laughs> they don't want to, they don't even want to, that camera said, I don't want to f- I'm going to focus on these bricks, dude. F*** you. We've defended Christian Baker Jack Phillips in Colorado, the Little Sisters of the Poor, Catholic Social Services in, in, of Philadelphia against attacks of the radical left. The rest of the country, you're in trouble. you got to go to court. you got to defend your rights in court. He's from New York. Fought. Fought. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm uh, <laughs> talking about your f- accent. Hey, we fought. We fought. Yeah, he did. He fought since 1981. I feel like we just kind of were like in a trance. Yeah, he, yeah, he keeps the trans in a trance. Mm. Yeah. No. Okay. So he, he, he fought for the baker and he fought for these people. Is that what he's saying? I don't really understand what the f- that even means. I guess he was like supporting the Christian bakers who deny baking cakes for gay couples. Here at Public Advocate, we believe if you're born a boy, then you're a boy. And if you're born a girl, then you're a girl. God bless the lawyers who went there and fought for the people of California where you were going to go to jail if you called somebody by the wrong pronoun. So we were, I got that law. If you call somebody by the wrong pronouns. How vague do you think this is? Are people actually sent to jail for messing up someone's pronouns? You don't get sent to jail for calling someone the wrong pronoun. This is what I mean by these people. They just like to f- make up their own little things. They make up these liberals and then get mad at them. If you're born a boy, you're a boy. If you're born a girl, you're a girl. Thoughts? That's the American way. That's the, I don't know what accent I was going for there. <laughs> That's the, you know, the traditions of the world. Stay a boy if you're a boy, stay a girl if you're a girl. If you take those crazy hormones, I don't know what to tell you. You're on a whole f***ing tangent, to be honest. Go off. Okay, you, you're <laughs> you <wanna laughs> go, go off. off. Go off. <laughs> I was born female. Doesn't mean that I'm a woman or a girl. Because um, guess what happened to me? You have a cool as heck mustache now. Exactly. I have a cool as f***ing heck mustache. Mm-hmm. And if you hate on it, I will cry. Oh. 
So don't do it. <laughs> I won't. I said I'll be okay. We don't want to see Sam cry. Do we? Do you want to? I can cry. I will cry. <laughs> Please, Matt Walsh. Please, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> we like women and Matt Walsh. Do we? <laughs> we do. We do. Yeah. We do. I'm detransitioning. Whoa. Matt Walsh saved me. Are you, you're detransitioning live on my channel right now? Yeah. It's in this water. It's in the water. It's like the reverse testosterone. Mm-hmm. Estrogen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when trans femme people go to pick up their hormone prescriptions, does it just say reverse testosterone? It does. Yep. Uh-huh. And when I pick up mine, it says reverse estrogen. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. You got it. You got it. You got Hell it. Hell yeah. My finger is on the pulse of the trans community. It is. I can feel it. The next one we have on our roster is Disney's Little Grooming Playhouse. The thumbnail has me genuinely frightened. <laughs> While no children were harmed in the making of this production, our mental health is harmed in watching <laughs> this production. I thought that was an ad in the beginning of like the music. It just cuts to an audible ad read. <laughs> hey there, little girl. Would you like to be a boy? <laughs> Why wouldn't Mickey Mouse ask that? Is that <laughs> Mickey Mouse? This is what this is what happened to me. How the f did they nail this down? Did they throw a reverse estrogen prescription at you? <laughs> they did, and, and then they asked me that, and it was f Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know how they even knew that. This is like one of those Stranger Danger PSAs from like the nineties. So bad, and the like the little clip that cuts the, the, where the ball hits, and then they cut to the guy. Should we rewind it? Yeah, it's, look, look. Ew. What the f is that? <laughs> the little side eye, like, oh, you're about to get a good show. I think he has the, the nose on upside down as well. I don't maybe not. Something's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly. <laughs> he seems like a, he's really good at being a weirdo. Yeah. It's too natural. Hey there, Would you like to be a boy? Would you like to be a boy? Tell me I was a girl. Nonsense! Is she a biologist? I didn't think so. If you come into my van, all of your dreams will come true. He did like five different voices in that 40 second clip. And my favorite part is when he looks at the camera. I feel like this dude does not want to be filming this right now. I don't blame him. He'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs> I, I in anywhere else he is not no this dude's like yeah it's my day off like why did you call me at like nine in the morning to film this shit? I, I don't think you're supposed to be talking to strangers i said cut it in there Okay. How do you feel? It's really, it's, there is no, there's no effort. There's not even an ounce of effort. Do you see free trans child surgery? <laughs> yes. And then, okay. And then we've got caution parody because like we couldn't f***ing tell that it's parody. Why is Mickey Mouse transing the children? Is that a thing? I guess. Maybe. I don't know Mickey Mouse trans children. Maybe that's how I got transed. Is that what they think happens at like Epcot or something? Is that why these like conservatives are rebelling against Disney World? But it's like, we know you're going to be back in like two years taking your kids to Space Mountain. Don't fool us. Okay. And there's no effort put on like photoshopping any of it. Like the trans child surgery is clearly just cut and pasted onto the Come on. You can blend that a little easier. What are you talking about? It's actually painted on the, the truck. Fine. Yeah. 
it's supposed to look like, you know, they probably just bought a giant sticker and just put it on the van. And what do they mean by free trans child surgery and education? <laughs> I'm fucking, I completely forgot about that part. Isn't education free when you're a child? I guess unless if you go to like a private school. Oh, you're right. You're right. And you have to pay out the wazoo for... So are they saying, like, education's bad? Free, yeah. There's, there's no elaboration on what type of education it is, so... I mean, listen, if you're campaigning for no education, I mean... <laughs> there's a reason why the people behind this are the way they are. And that's all I'm gonna say. They just want everybody to be like them. With gay marriage, like, you can throw as many straight couples into the media that's not going to stop someone from feeling you know those gay feelings same thing with like trans characters in the media like, you still turned out trans i still turned out gay it doesn't matter you would have been taking your reverse estrogen regardless exactly it doesn't matter like I, i've seen i've seen it all and i'm still taking my reverse estrogen while the past <laughs> two videos were not <coughs> Sorry, are you okay ahead. No. Is tonight catching up to you, Sam? It is. It is. It's that woke juice you're drinking. It is. The woke juice is making me unwoke. Well, in a sense, tired. Not unwoke. Just, just tired. Cheers. Cheers, you f queers. Good one. I think it's time for a quick music break. Would you agree? I, I do agree. I have a treat for you. Cookie? No, it's the LMNOP plus sing-along. Who doesn't love a good sing-along? I love singing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Hi, I'm Eugene Delgadio, president of Public Advocate, and Hi, we are here. Uh, Public Advocate is proud <laughs> to declare June as LMNOP month in support of real traditional values. My name is Eugene Delgadio, I'm president of Public Advocate. This monument is a reminder of the heroes who have sacrificed their lives for our freedom. <laughs> we are dressed- How do you feel? I just, these people are decked the f out in merch. <laughs> Holy sh They got the merch plug in. They do have the merch plug in. You know, for homophobes, they could not have looked gayer. Uh, come on, you have a rainbow f umbrella, man. I actually have a rainbow umbrella. Do you? Yeah. It's in my car. Does it say LMNOP on it? No, I just got the plain version. I didn't get this um, upgraded version. Would you rock this? I would. Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, they wouldn't. It looks like actual legit LGBT stuff. Yeah. Covert, subtle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are they just like in the middle of DC or something? Yeah. In front of a statue. I would die if I saw this in person. This is like the same type of people like from like the Westboro Baptist Church, except they're not picketing in front of funerals. They're picketing in front of a statue. They fought for our rights though, for the traditional family. So does that mean nothing to you? So they're, they're true patriots. Oh, say can you see Hey. We sound good. We do. Is this pitch perfect? Yeah. Wow. Number five. I don't know how many there are. Not enough. We will take a stand. Why? Because the radical homosexual lobby has tried, tried to claim an entire month of June to celebrate their particular lifestyle, which is the opposite of the pro-family lifestyle. As someone who is a part of the homosexual lobby, um, I think we need to try even harder. I think we have to take the whole f***ing year, to be honest. Let's just, let's spread the agenda everywhere, as they say. We can even do, like, different months for different sexualities and genders. Exactly, and it'll be never-ending because there's a never-ending list, as they say. Unfortunately, there aren't 97 months in a year, so we can't cover every gender. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to split, we can split it up to quick math. Uh, four per year, per month, four per month. Like a week per gender? Five per month, yeah. Yeah, yes, that would work. Let the, you know, trans coalition know our plan and see if they'll be on board. I will, I'll let them know. This guy, it's been a minute into this video, this guy hasn't even started a song. Yeah, like we're waiting. This is, this is starting to feel like clickbait. Yeah, it is clickbait. We came here for some good American music we are gonna stand for good ain't gonna let it drown we are brave we are true we are who god meant us to be family 
Let's hear the first of the three songs titled LMNOP to the tune of Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music explaining the LMNOP plus community. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna say, are we ready for this? This is just gonna be a mishmash of hetero mess. I'm excited. This girl right here in the Wonder Woman outfit, I feel like she has some vocals on her. She has to. She has to because she's in Wonder Woman. She said remix. I enjoyed the tune, but it's only because they ripped it straight from the sound of music. The amount of music compared to the vocals is just so they could have like, you record this with a mic like this, it would sound so much better. They're using like an iPhone 8 mic. They are with the wind in the plane in the wind. Julie Andrews, we're so sorry. <laughs> Face. Who was that? Did you see that wait, like wait. shadow man? This 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 fool back here. He's part of it. He's is he part of it? I guess. He's part of it. The thing is, these are not ordinary normal people. <laughs> they are. They're worse than me. I don't even have words. <laughs> no, me neither. Like I am in awe. It's bad. People in the back. Do you see the poor tourists in the back who were just trying to enjoy this day? Oh, man. Imagine it would be really f funny if a gay couple walks by. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, it's a rainbow. Oh, oh, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> just like, what do you think Bill and Susan are thinking about right now, right here? Getting the f out of there. <laughs> getting the, f look at them. They turn around, so they're getting the f out of there. What would you do if you saw them in real life? Oh, I would with them i would go up to them i'd be like what are you guys singing um uh, can i be a part of it oh i'd make fun of them so like i would pretend that i'm interested it would be really great i think you need to make a cameo yeah i do i do just that's take the cool. uncle sam costume off this dude and oh that's what it was that it was willy wonka hello sunshine starshine the earth says hello go oh <gasps> Dance break! Dance break! <laughs> if we were in person right now, I'd force you to do the jig with me. I would do it in front of them. The guy- alright, something I noticed is the guy with the drum or whatever the fuck. he doesn't even use it. Why does he have a drum? Use the props given to you that the good lord gave you. Exactly. Right there, you f***ing brought it to the stupid song, why aren't you using it? <laughs> Eugene worked hard for 40 years to pay for that drum. Longer than that, longer than that. <laughs> Hot take of the day, this is bad. It's the hottest take. Where does that go? That was kind of good. Like that was, that was kind of good. It was good, but I thought he had a wig. Where'd the wig go? Yeah, he had like a wig and a hat. What the f***, Willy Wonka? Yeah. F identity revealed. Is this how the Hannah Montana crowd felt when she took off her wig? Yes, they had to. Woo! 
That's the dude who T-poses on the dance floor at prom. That, yeah. Yeah. Did you like the sing-along? I loved it. It was great. Great twist on Do Re Mi. Was that it? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Scale of 1 to 10, what do you give it? Eight. If we're being serious, let's take it down to negative 500. Can't win them all. (laughs) So I have one more um, video in our queue here. And this offers a little bit more of a backstory of the LMNOP Plus month that they're trying to launch. It's just more about their message. So maybe we were a little harsh at first judging them. I think we, I think, yeah, I think we should be a little bit more open-minded. So we'll see what this video brings. Make the family great. Or do they mean make the family straight? I think that's what they mean. I guess we'll find out. Lifestyle, amazing, normal, ordinary, people. Uh, we're oh. launching something special today oh. also. You all know that June is claimed to be LGBTQ Audio? month. Well, not anymore. Public Advocate has launched Take Back the Month of June project, where we are launching the LMNOP Plus movement with a Make the Family Great Again task force. L-M-N-O-P, L-M-N-O-P. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. This, it, you can literally react to this like five seconds by five seconds. Is that the White House? Where's the Secret Service when you need them? Dudes fit. Why is it not all the way tucked in? See, when you're the one and only public advocate of the United States, you don't have time for petty things like tucking in your shirt or... Making a song that actually has rhythm and flow to it. Or caring about the audio. Sound design is not in their wheelhouse. No design is in their f***ing realm. Holy s***. N-O-P. Lifestyle of mainstream, normal, ordinary people. This nationwide event will take place the last day of June in all our localities, in all the states, every town. That's your job. I'm Eugene Delgadio, president of Public Advocate. I want to thank our contributors. That was an awful what? transition. What the f***? Wait. What? <laughs> Cancel the Adobe Premiere subscription. Save your money, please. So I don't even know what the f*** this is. It's taking the place at the end of June every year, everywhere. To me, that seems impractical because like if you want the whole month, why wait until the last day? Why not start from the beginning when the momentum is there? This is so stupid. So bad. We are launching a special project today. Public Advocate has launched Take Back the Month of June project where we are going to be. We are launching today LMNOP movement the lmno do you notice how he repeats himself like three times yes uh, like we get where, where's the rest of the video like where the f- is the rest of it it's just him going in circles for like five minutes this guy sounds like bernie sanders if you got him off of wish though why is that so true he's bernie sanders evil twin is this like a parent trap moment i think it might be Lindsay lohan Watch out. Do you think this guy got rejected from the Republican hype house? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. His stance is f-ing terrifying. That's f-ing scary. <laughs> That's scary as f-. The Carhartt website is out of stock. I'm going to go home and make another alpha male YouTube video. Do you think he listens to Fresh and Fit? He listens to Fresh and Fit and Tom McDonald. And let us know about what you're doing to make the LMNOP your movement. What are you doing to make the LMNOP your movement? Quickly. I'm singing the alphabet. I'm singing the alphabet song. What about you? I'm also singing the alphabet song, but backwards. I hope everybody else does that. Otherwise, we will um, report you to the pronoun police. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Yeah, we will. Yeah, that's a serious threat, by the way. Give me an L! Lifestyle! Give me an M! Mainstream! Give me an N! Normal! Give me an O! Ordinary! Give me a P! People! And what do we want? Make the family great again! I feel like that's his, like, grandson he dragged out for this video. They put in, they dubbed that audio, they recorded it back in the house, and then they put it over this. I mean, listen, nothing that the 
what are they called? The LMNOP people. <laughs> Nothing they do surprises me anymore. I like how these two in the back are hiding. They're making sure their digital footprints are clean. Yeah, yeah. He's nervous because he's afraid someone's going to report him to his college and have his acceptance letter rescinded. That's why he's got the glasses and the hat for sure. We have hats. We have buttons for your rally. The courts have written extensively on the First Amendment right of association. And part of that right is the right to disassociate. We will use the LMNOP movement in the context of a majority. <laughs> of a what? <laughs> what? I paused on the wrong. Of a The right to disassociate with drag queens. Public advocate will instruct our lawyers to include the LMNOP community in a class action whenever we cite in our amicus briefs. We've had over 50 amicus briefs before the Supreme Court. Lifestyle! Normal, ordinary, ordinary. people. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> we, skipped, we skipped a couple chapters. This is so good. This is so good. I feel like I blacked out. I feel, yeah, I feel like I'm high on and I don't even at some type of drug. That's what my head sounds like. The elemental P thing with the echo. We were like in the void somewhere. That's like the one scene from Spongebob where Squidward is in that like one room. Yes. Yes. We're going to be raiding states. So governors get ready. We're going to be raiding states. Public advocates going to ask this question. Do you allow transgenders to use any public bathrooms at your state capitol? Or in your okay, so I just want to know who's editing this. Like what was the rainbow like pinwheel thingy? Who made that call? Because that was random. It was so we're going to be raiding your states like with the colors of the rainbow. And why can't I use the state capitol bathroom? Why? I want to. Yeah. Yeah. You should be allowed to pee in Biden's presence. I don't know. Exactly. He would not care. You know what? He wouldn't care. He said you better hold it in. Shit in the grass. Fuck you. Like a dog. Allow public schools to push the homosexual agenda. Does your state <coughs> allow public school transgender bathrooms? We're going to grade you, governors. It's up to you to make the family great again. And what do we want? Make the family great again. And what do we want? Make the family great again. Thank you and God bless you. So what are you going to do to make the family great again? I think what I'm going to do is infidelity. Don't tell Sheila. <laughs> I won't tell her, but that is they say all of this, but then they will they will do that. So I think um I think we can stoop to their level. What about you? I'm going to call my girlfriend and tell her I love her. Those are two very different things. <laughs> I think mine's better in their their eyes. Yeah. Just if they just don't know that I'm transgender, so yeah, I'm off the hook. You, uh oh, you are banned from capital buildings and states, and go to California. Yeah, stay there. I'm gonna go to California, kiss my girlfriend, and find some other blue-haired pronoun liberals and get triggered. I think I'm good. I'm just gonna go to confession. You. You are not off the hook, my friend. I don't even know where to, how, I don't know how to end the video. I do. I just Uber Eat at Burger King and everyone should let us know if they like Burger King. So yeah, we'll leave off with that. If you like Burger King, <laughs> sound off. And if you don't like Burger King, <laughs> Bur who? Thank you, Sam, for coming onto my channel and experiencing this pain and torture with me. Do you want to let the sinners at home uh, know where they can find you? Yeah, so you can find me on YouTube. You could type in Sam Collins, or my channel is called Superman38. I made it when I was young. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for, uh, thanks for it. It's really great. Let us know if you want a part two to this video. And uh, yeah, make sure you go follow Sam. And if you have any video ideas for me going forward, I have a Google form linked in my description where you could submit your video ideas. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video tiny thumbs up, as tiny as possible. If it's any bigger than five centimeters, we will come to your house and um, yell at you, punch you. Yell is cool. I didn't have to punch. That was a little mean. 
we'll just yell. But thank you so much for watching. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!